So can a cheap foam cannon perform just as well as a more expensive foam cannon? We're gonna do multiple tests to see if we can maximize the efficiency of a cheap foam cannon to get it to perform as close to one of the premium brand foam cannons. What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about foam cannons, how you can maximize your foam cannon and get the most out of it. Now, whether you have a really expensive foam cannon or if you're running a super cheap foam cannon like the Amazon Basics that's sub 20 bucks, I'm gonna show you guys how you can get more foam out of your foam cannon and really get that thick shaving cream type of foam to cling onto the panel of the vehicle so it can do its job cleaning. So a while back, I did a video on how to get more foam from your foam cannon, so that was basically just changing out the orifice from whatever comes in the foam cannon to a smaller orifice, a 1.1 millimeter orifice, and that allows you to get way more foam than your standard foam cannon would normally get just by changing out that orifice. Well, in that video, I got tons of comments of people asking, hey, does it, is it true that using hot water or warm water in your foam cannon increases the foam production? Is it true that using distilled water or clean water versus regular water from the tap gets more foam? And I didn't know the answer to that. I really, I honestly didn't. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a few different things. We're gonna be testing the quality of the foam cannon. We're gonna be looking at two different foam cannons. Quality of soap. We're gonna be talking about the orifice again, changing out the orifice to a smaller size to get more foam. We're also gonna be talking about the filter inside and if you can change that out to get more foam production. And then we're also going to be talking about those little tips and tricks or hacks that um, people have asked me about. We're gonna either prove them right or debunk them, I don't know, um, regarding hot water or warm water and also distilled water. So let's jump into it. Okay, so for our purposes today, we're gonna be using two different foam cannons. Like I said, we're gonna be using the Amazon Basics. Now this comes with a larger orifice inside of it. I, can't, I don't know exactly the size. Um, I think it's a 1.25, I think. Um, so we'll be testing this foam cannon here. Um, in a bunch of different ways. The other one we're gonna be testing is the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro. Um, this is my foam cannon of choice. And we're gonna be testing this, um, not with all the different specs, because this thing basically just gets a ton of foam regardless. So it's hard to tell the difference um, if we're getting more foam or less foam, because like I said, this thing just creates a ton of foam. So most of our testing is gonna be done with this Amazon Basics. So we're first gonna be testing this thing with the orifice that it comes with, the 1.25 millimeter orifice, I believe, and then also the filter that it comes with. For our first test, we're gonna be using Meguiar's Gold Class soap, along with water straight from the tap. No deionized water, no distilled water. Now again, I use de uh, deionized water, which is pure purified water that has no uh, calcium or anything, any other deposits in it that can cause water spotting. Um, so similar to distilled water, it's a different process, but distilled water is pretty pure as well. And people have told me in the comments that using distilled water, you'll get more foam. So we will test that. So again, first test is going to be Amazon Basics Foam Cannon as it comes with the 1.25 millimeter orifice, standard filter, regular water out of the tap, and using Meguiar's Gold Class. For our second test, we're gonna be doing that exact same thing, except the only difference is we're gonna be using warm water, or pretty hot water actually, in it, as opposed to just the regular temperature water um, to see if that gets us more foam. Going to be doing the exact same thing, but we're going to be using purified my DI deionized water. Now, I, I shouldn't be saying purified. It's not like purified drinking water. That still has deposits in it that you don't want going onto your car. So either distilled or my deionized water. Um, but we'll be using that in the foam cannon and also going through the, the whole system um, to see if that actually does create more foam or not. Okay, so now for the next part of the test, we're going to be taking the foam cannon and I'm gonna be replacing the orifice um, with a smaller 1.1 millimeter orifice. Now to do that, you just take the quick connect off, just backs off. If you look inside of the head of the unit, you'll see a little slot with a hole and you can 
uh, just get a flathead screwdriver in there, back out that little slot. It's a little orifice that comes right out. It's just screwed in there. And we're gonna replace that with a smaller one, a 1.1 millimeter orifice. Now I'll have all this stuff linked down in the description for you guys so you can get it easily to the ones, exactly the ones I'm using here in the video. So there goes the original one. Here's the 1.1 that I'm gonna put in. Just drop it in there and make sure it lines up nicely so you don't cross thread anything. Tighten it down and then we're just gonna put the quick connect back on it and we're good to go. Now for the next test, we have, again, it's the Amazon Basics and now with a 1.1 millimeter orifice. Because there is no difference in the thickness of the foam between tap water versus deionized water, I'm just gonna be testing with my deionized water now because I have it already set up. So, uh, but again, 1.1 millimeter orifice, this is the deionized water at regular temperature. Okay, so for the next test now, we're going to a more premium foaming soap. I'm using Max Shine's Ultra Foaming Wash here. Um, it's very, very similar to Adam's Mega Foam. I love Adam's Mega Foam. I just, I was out of it. Um, I had some of the Max Shine stuff um, in the shop still, and that stuff's amazing as well. I just like the Adam's because I can buy it in bulk versus the Max Shine I can only buy in 16 ounce, but they perform almost identical. They work really, really well. Then on top of the orifice, we're gonna see if we can take this nice inexpensive cheap foam cannon and get even more foam out of it. We're gonna see if we can do that by changing out the foam filter, the foam generating filter inside to see if we can produce more. Now we're gonna be opening up the foam cannon again. Um, and now I'm actually just gonna be opening up, opening up the nozzle side of it. And I'll show you guys how it's just a little pin here. Some foam cannons are different. Sometimes they use a little prong and you can uh, kind of pry that up. This one's just a pin, so you just have to push it through using a small, small uh, screwdriver or something else, but something small enough that you can get uh, into that little hole. And we're gonna open that up and we're gonna swap out the foam filter in this. So basically on all foam cannons, um, except for one, they use a standard like little steel mesh uh, filter to create your foam. And we're gonna be replacing it with a premium foam filter that again, I'll link to, you can either buy them on my site or you can buy them on Amazon. Um, and basically what this one is, is it's two pieces of metal mesh along with a foam mesh that goes in between those. And in my experience, that gets a lot more foam. So, and every, some foam cannons are different. So some of them are a little bit tighter inside and which will make this uh, uh, foam filter a tight fit. But uh, in, th in this case, this one fit in there absolutely perfectly, super easy to get it in there. Didn't have to worry about anything. Um, so it was very nice. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and reattach that whole piece where the foam filter goes back onto the head unit, reassemble the whole thing and we'll get to testing. Okay, now that we have the premium foam filter in, I'm going back to the Meguiar's Gold Class soap um, along with the 1.1 millimeter orifice, the premium foam filter in that Amazon Basics foam cannon. Again, we're using deionized water on this test, which doesn't seem to make any difference. You can see, again, we have increased our foam production even more than previous. It's getting nice and thick. It's get, it, this is still wet foam though. It's still not as dry as some of the premium foam cannons. But again, it's another step in the right direction. And now we're gonna be using that same setup, the premium foam filter, the 1.1 millimeter orifice inside the Amazon Basics foam cannon. But we're going to be using it with the Max Shine Ultra Foaming Wash. And as you can see here, we're getting really thick foam now. There is definitely still some moisture into it and you can see it pulling down pretty quickly. Um, but we are definitely increasing, now we are, we are at that level of super, super thick shaving cream going onto the car. And then finally for our final test, we're gonna be testing out the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro. We're gonna be using it as it comes. Um, it does come with a 1.25 and a 1.1 millimeter orifice. This one has the 1.1 installed into it. Um, we'll be using, other than that, it's just standard. Um, and we'll be using it with the Meguiar's Gold Class and then we'll use it with the Max Shine uh, Ultra Foaming Wash so you guys can see that. Okay, now we've talked about quality of water, temperature of water, quality of orifice and foam filter. Now let's talk about overall quality of the foam cannon. So we're switching over to the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro here. And we're gonna be using this along with the Meguiar's Gold Class. Now this foam cannon comes both with a 1.25 millimeter orifice and a 1.1 millimeter orifice. I always run it with the 1.1. So the 1.1 is installed in this and we're gonna go ahead and test it with the Meguiar's Gold Class. And as you can see, it stacks on there so well and it's sticking to the panel really, really well. You can see just how thick that foam is. 
Um, now again, it is still sliding down, but this is the Meguiar's Gold Class, which isn't a super high foaming soap. And now for our final test, we're going to be using the same thing, the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro 1.1 millimeter orifice, but now we're using that uh, Max Shine Ultra Foaming Wash. And as you can see, just crazy amounts of thickness to this and look how strong and, and hard it sticks to the panel. So it really allows you, allows that soap to get all of its effectiveness and break down all the dirt and contamination on it. But as you can see, it's able to hold on there and then it slowly starts to pull everything away. So it's able to emulsify all the dirt, encapsulate it in all of its um, lubrication of the soap and in the foam and then it slowly pulls it all the way to keep your surface looking perfect. So there you have it guys. Bunch of tests, really, really cool results. It shows you that you can get away with going with a really, really inexpensive foam cannon. Um, now you are gonna have to spend more money to get the crazy amount of foam, um, whether it be you know changing out the orifice, getting the other filter, um, basically $20 worth of upgrades. So then this, you're gonna be at about 40 bucks with this thing. Um, some of the downfalls of this is the small neck, um, especially when I was filling the Meguiar's Gold Class. It's a little bit of a thicker soap, and it was kind of a pain in the butt to fill this. It kept like bubbling up over, and it was kind of a pain in the butt. The MJJC, on the other hand, has a nice wide, ne wide neck, really easy to fill. So basically, to get close to the performance of the MJJC out of this cheap one, um, you need to do a $40 upgrade, and then you're still missing out on the wide mouth neck, and also the ability to change your spray pattern from just shooting vertical to being able to shoot horizontal as well, which is nice when you're going on the flat surfaces of the car, um, on the roof, all that kind of stuff. It just makes it more efficient so you're not spraying a bunch of soap over the car, you're actually getting it to where you want it to be. So that's it guys, I hope that helps you. Um, again, if you're on a budget, go with that Amazon Basics. It'll get you through, It'll, it's gonna do a good job. If you, again, right off the bat, it doesn't get the most amount of foam, right? It, it does its job, but it's just not a ton of foam. I personally like a ton of foam. Um, but if you want to start with that, then increase your foam production by changing out the orifice and the foam filter and, and going with the more expensive soap. I will say, with the MJJC or something in this class, either the, the Griot's Boss Foam Cannon gets a ton of foam, the MTM gets a ton of foam, and this guy gets a ton of foam. Um, with that, you actually, I know it's more of a cost up front, but you do save money in the long term because you can, one, you can use less soap of a really good soap, um, number two is you can use a cheaper soap and still be able to get good results. So that's it guys, I hope that helps you. Please make sure to like the video, please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. I appreciate all of you and we will see you on the next one.